Intratunnel Fakoff Fracture is a nucleus management technique of the manual small incision cataract surgery, in which the lens nucleus is broken inside a sclerocorneal tunnel and removed. Intratunnel Fakoff Fracture can be performed through an incision of 4 mm to 8 mm. Up to 3 diopter of the pre-existing astigmatism can be effectively neutralized by planning the incision size and site, eliminating the need for expensive torque eye holes. So in other words, neutralizing pre-existing astigmatism by manual small incision cataract surgery induced astigmatism is also a cataract refractive procedure. The nucleus is prolapsed into the interior chamber by using a Sinsky's hook. Enough viscoelastic is placed between the cornea and the superior surface of the nucleus to protect the endothelium and between the nucleus and iris to keep the iris away from nucleus. The vectus introduced into the interior chamber by pressing the posterior lip of the tunnel and the nucleus is taken in the vectus lap. The nucleus is entangled simply pulling vectus straight in posterior and depressing posed lip of the tunnel simultaneously. Now the vectus handle is lifted about 45 degree away from the limbus and then pulled out. This causes the breaking of the nucleus inside the tunnel. The broken posterior part of the nucleus is taken out and the remaining anterior part is pushed back into the interior chamber. The longitudinal axis of the reaming nucleus is made parallel to the tunnel and taken out by the vectus. The vectus introduced by pressing the posterior lip of the tunnel in the nucleus is taken in the lap. Then the vectus is pulled out parallel to tunnel floor along the nucleus while simultaneously keeping the posterior lip pressed. This causes the entrapment of the nucleus in the tunnel, now the vectus handle is lifted about 45 degree away from the limbus and then pulled out. This causes the breaking of the nucleus inside the tunnel. The broken posterior part of the nucleus is taken out and the remaining anterior part is pushed back into the interior chamber. The longitudinal axis of the reaming nucleus is made parallel to the tunnel and taken out by the vectus. Please watch this 6 mm intratunnel FACO fracture nucleotomy surgery clip in slow motion to understand better. I hope this video would be helpful to understand the intratunnel facal fracture manual small incision cataract surgery basics.